The Ukrainian and the Japanese flags are intertwined together in this gigantic piece of art. They stand out against the backdrop of painted young people as well as a cherry tree. One of the artists who helped create this mural is a little girl from Ukraine's eastern city of Luhansk. Her hometown became one of the main strongholds of the Russian-backed militant forces who are waging war in eastern Ukraine. It is very important for me to paint a Ukrainian woman. I want the war to end and I want everyone to live in peace and quiet. A hundred children from Ukraine and other parts of the world worked for full days with the help of Japanese artist Kenzuke Miyazaki. The end result is the symbolic art installation. The mural is called Solidarity because the children of refugees, internally displaced persons and children with special needs all created it together. They all live in Ukraine and Ukraine is a mixture of different cultures. The Japanese artist is working together with Ukrainian children to help them express what they are going through. Vajma painted a house from her native village in Afghanistan. I came here with my mom and my brother. My father lives here too. We live in Ukraine while our country is at war. More than 7,000 refugees currently live in Ukraine. Art is being used as an outlet to help them integrate into society. Next week, the artist will visit Mariupol to do the same. He will help the children paint a mural based on a Ukrainian fairy tale. The mural will be painted in a local school damaged by shellings. Kenzuke Miyazaki has already completed two murals in Kenya and East Timor. This one is dedicated to the Year of Japan in Ukraine to celebrate the 25th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the two countries.